Hello, my name is uh, Gerardo Gallucci, ST Microelectronics Wi-Fi Product Marketing, and I'm here to present you the online training session dedicated to the SPWF 04S series, the latest cloud-ready Wi-Fi modules from ST Microelectronics, able to work with and without an external host, thanks to the integrated MicroPython compiler. Chapter 1 is dedicated to the startup stage, so from the unboxing to different kind of firmware update. Everything needed to start working with the Wi-Fi modules. So let's start describing both the firmware package and the integration guidelines into the STM32 open development environment. Firmware package for SPWF 04S series is called STSW-WiFi004. You can download it from st.com website. Click on the login button, then scroll the page and click on the get software. Accept the license agreement. You can save in your preferred folder and once downloaded, unzip it. Software package contains the current firmware binary file for the module. Moreover, there is also the previous releases firmware folder. And the last one, the auto image directory that contains other binary files that can be used during both firmware and file system over the air update, also in a secure way. Moving now to the evaluation tool, the SPWF04SA evaluation board is called Xnucleo IDW04A1. This board is compatible with different kind of STM32 Nucleo64 board and it's a scalable solution that allows you to stack up different kind of board, for example, connectivity board and sensor board, thanks to the Arduino connector and the optional here Morpho connector. As a final result, it's building a more complete system. Here with me, a typical example, this is called Nucleo Azure One, and it's a, a complete hardware solution for cloud connectivity. Available software package for STM32 Cube environment is called Xcube Wi-Fi One. You can download it from st.com website. Click on the login button, then scroll the page and click on Get Software and accept the license agreement. Save into your preferred PC folder. Once downloaded, you have to unzip the package. Go into Projects multi and application. Here you can find multiple sample projects including socket client management, socket server management, HTTP request, virtual port and a small ad hoc application for firmware upgrade via UART. You need now to select your preferred STM32 nuclear board. Here with me an L476 version. Then stack up the two boards and just be sure that the jumper on the IDW board are set in the right configuration. We will use for this training the UART plug and play interface. Then attach the USB cable and attach to the PC. Go into the Wi Fi One firmware, projects, multi, applications, Wi Fi Bitcom, binary, SPWF04 and L4 Nucleo. Select the project.bin file, drag and drop inside the ST link. After copied, unplug the board from the PC and plug it again. You'll find in device manager a new enumerator com. Take note of the number. Here is the number 4. At this stage, hardware is all set, so the module is ready and the external host processor is up and running. Let's start opening a terminal application. Please select the write com number inside the serial port setup. Use 11.52.00 as baud rate and 8.9.1.9 as general settings. If everything is ok, you'll find some asynchronous event on terminal as module output. You can also trigger a reply from the module typing the null command AT followed by the carrier return. The module will give you an OK as a reply. Next command I'll show you is the one needed to update the firmware of the module. Firmware update is the process of replacing a firmware version with a newer version of it. SPWF 04S series allow both the wired interface for update as well as the over-the-air capability powered by the embedded TCP IP stack. 
the other side, the wired interface fully rely on standard STM32 tools. I'm talking about the flash loader demonstrator for the UART interface, as well as the STD utility for the SWD interface. For this training, we will focus on the over-the-air capability. Wi-Fi 004 package, previously explained, include a pre-built OTA firmware release, available into OTA image firmware folder. Since over-the-air capability is based on HTTP protocol, you need a web server and copy that photo file into web server resource directory. Moreover, firmware release in standard X format is available too. This last binary file allows you to customize the over-the-air task in a secure way using a secret 16-byte password. You can refer to full and on document for a complete step-by-step -step description. The SPWF modules support different use modes, from station to ad hoc IBSS to tiny access point. For this training, I will set up the most simple network topology without any external access point and without any AT command. Simply place both the push button, then release the reset one and wait for the module to show you the the event number 26. The event number 26 contains the network name, so-called SSID. Use now your PC, the one where you previously installed the web server, to find that network and click on the Connect button. If everything is OK, you'll find the event number 29 as a module output. Please take note of the delivered IP address. Here we just created a simple point-to-point -point connection without any aid from external host or any script. Moreover, SPWF modules in MiniIP is able to support up to five stations and two security protocols like WPA and WEP. This way, the simple point-to-point -point becomes a start topology network. Now we can give the command for the firmware update to the module. Module will reply with multiple messages till the final OK message to signal the end of the download stage. Now, the new firmware was downloaded and stored in a temporary area that is usually reserved for file system and it's now waiting to be validated and copied into the main area. To perform the last step, reset the module. The module will check the new image and will move it to the main flash area. You can follow the module's task, taking a look at the event number 17. For more information, please visit sd.com slash Wi-Fi modules. Thank you for watching.